Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. That was the quote that I read this morning as I opened up my hashtag Rising Grind Planner so that I can do my morning five, the morning routine that I so believe in. What a difference it makes. My gosh, I had a friend call me this morning at uh, right around 4.30 in the morning, 4.15 in the morning, and uh, she was like, there's no one else I would call at this particular time. You're the only person I know that I would call at uh, 4.15 in the morning Eastern time. But how is it that you have so much energy at this time? And it's like, dude, I've already been up, first of all, for an hour and a half. Let's start there. But it's all about that morning routine, right? Golly, so what a gift it is to be able to open up my hashtag Rising Grind Planner and have the quotes of my my tribe, right? In our planner, it's an interesting thing in the Rising Grind Planner. Not only does it have the morning five and all of that stuff in there, but also at the top of every single page is a quote submitted by an actual Rising Grind member. And so today's quote was submitted by Robin well, Shane's. And what we did is we just asked everyone to submit. So share with us your favorite quote or your favorite Bible verse. And so Robin sent this in. This would have been over a year ago when we were making last year's planner. And it says, winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. And I just thought, what a perfect quote to start off my day and your day. As we roll into the 900th episode of Hashtag Rising Grind. 900. I want you to think about what that number means. I want you to think about what 900 looks like. Think about $900. Think about 900 people in a room. Think about 900 hours. <laughs> right? Think about 900. It's a big, big, big number. And today's episode, 900 of hashtag rise and grind. So Robin, thank you for the quote because it just reminded me. Winners are not people who never fail. It's not about not failing, which we've failed a ton along the way, but about people who never quit. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? You see, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. And welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, and good morning, good morning <laughs> how are you my friend how are you my friend man that mic's a little hot over on the facebook side i apologize i didn't mean to come in screaming at you man and i just saw my boy ashley is joined over on the clubhouse side great seeing you this morning ashley as well as monica and and a bunch of rest of you over there on clubhouse hey good morning good morning good morning today is Monday. That's right. Today is Monday, June 28th, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first. Think about this. Don't let this glaze over. Today is the very first and the very last time it will ever be Monday, June 28th, 2021. I hope 
that you had a fantastic weekend. I really do. If you didn't have a fantastic weekend, I apologize. Because there was a fantastic weekend to be had. Now, this past weekend, many Americans were getting ready, getting prepped for the 4th of July, including my wife and our family. The 4th of July is our favorite holiday. We go all out. So my wife was pulling out all of the decorations. We had to make sure everything was ready. Dude, we throw we throw a big party over at the house. We're talking fireworks we're talking you have to order we have to order uh uh, bathrooms like we have this big travel trailer of bathrooms because we have so many people that come over to our house our fireworks show is is epic and then there's the there's the catering right that you got to put together then there's the decorations that you got to put together and then of course there's the fireworks that you got to get that show put together but the reason we love it so much is because we will spend that day together with family and friends in celebration of our independence right it's called independence day independence this idea that we have a choice that we can choose that we can choose what we want to do with our weekend that we can choose to wake up early on a monday morning and motivate and be inspired that we can choose to be in a specific room in a specific place in a specific time that we can choose to live where we want to live in what city in what state that we can choose what kind of work that we do independence is all about the choice right And so I love to celebrate this holiday. You see, when I was young, 4th of July always took place. The fireworks always took place on the other side. And I don't know what town you live in. I don't know where you grew up, Melvin or Whitney or Mike. Here's all I know is in most of my travels, I've always been able to recognize that there tends to be an other side. No matter what city you're in, no matter what state you're in, there's always a an other side and some people say the other side of the tracks some people say the other side of the hill there just always seems to be an other side right and so for me growing up the fireworks always took place on the other side they took place on the on the golf course over by the country club next to all the nice houses and all of the nice things And so I used to love it every year because that was my excuse to go take a walk on the other side, to be surrounded by decadence, to be surrounded by, by beauty, right? And so we'd go and we'd spend all day, I mean all day out there, all day long playing basketball, eating hot dogs and hamburgers, right? Doing all those things all day. And as the day would progress more and more people would come to the driving range, they'd come to the country club, the cars would start to line up, the radio station would get there, the radio station would be blasting music, they'd be doing giveaways and people would have the neon lights and everybody be uh, doing water fights and all of these things, right? And it would be such an amazing night and then it would end with the fireworks and it'd be romantic and we'd be chasing girls and try to kiss a girl under the fireworks and all of those things. It was such an amazing holiday I loved it every single year and now I have chosen because I live in a country where we're where, where we have this thing called independence I've chosen to recreate that memory for my kids but I do it in my backyard now I don't have to go over there I've brought over there I've brought the other side over to this side I have brought the other side over to this side and you can too. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend, man. We got ready. We're getting ready for the party. We had like 13 kids in my house at some point. I don't, I can't even keep track of all the kids anymore. There's my kids. There's neighbor kids. There's the neighbor's neighbor's kids. There's the there's the, the neighbor's 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 kids down the street. There's people that are dropping the kids off from the other side of town. I don't even know. There's just always kids in my house. What a gift. What a blessing. It reminds me of my Aunt Robin. And my Aunt Robin used to be the house on the block that all the kids hung out at and I always thought man wouldn't that be amazing to live in a nice big house where we could accommodate all of these uh, uh, a bunch of kids and they would want to come and play on our play sets and fish in our pond and drive four wheelers on our land wouldn't that be amazing to be able to create a life like that and guess what I did 
And so every day when I walk in and there's just babies everywhere, I smile. Because we've been able to create a safe place. A safe place where these kids can come and they can be surrounded by decadence. And they can be surrounded by love. And they can have a great time. I chose to create that. Because I live in a country where we're independent and we're free. We're free to make those choices. So I hope you chose to have an amazing weekend. That's what I hope. I hope you chose to do that. Actually, at one point on uh, Friday night, maybe it was Saturday night, Friday or Saturday night, my son was like, Dad. My son was like, Dad, we haven't been able to, to snuggle in a long time. You got lots of kids now and you're busy and you're running, the, you're running your business and you're, you're, you're traveling to all these different places. You got breakfast with champions. You got hashtag rise and grind. And my son was like, man, you know, we just haven't snuggled in a, in a, in a, in a long time. Can we, can we do that? And I said, you know what, son? Absolutely. And so we sat down on the couch at like 830, whatever time it was, Friday, Saturday night. Sat down at 8.30, we watched that, that Lego show. Have you guys seen that Lego show? It's on Hulu, I think, where it's Lego masters. They build all these Legos and then they bust them up. Y'all, y'all seen that? So we were, we were watching, we were watching that show and my son Fisher came and joined us. And ultimately they both ended up falling asleep on my lap. Joel on one side and, and Fisher on the, on the other side. And it, it was just an, uh, an incredible night where we got a lot of time to, to snuggle. Uh, me and my son. You know, he's nine years old now. Time's flying so fast. And I thought, how cool is this? How cool is this that I got to choose? I got to choose. You know what? I'm just going to drop whatever else I'm doing. And I'm going to choose to sit on the couch. for. I think we sat there for three hours. <laughs> I don't normally sit that long. But I get to choose. Because I've been busting my freaking butt, dude, for the last 25 years of my life. 20, keep going, tell us 14, 29 years. Because I have refused to quit. I have failed along the way, but I have refused to quit. And so I've created situations and been blessed with situations in my life where I get to choose. If I want to sit down for three hours with my son on the couch, I sit down for three hours. Ain't nobody going to do nothing about it. And so I share these things with you because I hope that you chose to have a good weekend I do I hope that you chose to have a good weekend as we head into next weekend where we will celebrate our independence as a country I hope maybe you chose to do some yard work if that's what you wanted to do I hope that you chose to blow some stuff up if that's what you wanted to do I hope that you chose to delegate to celebrate or to decorate and to get ready to celebrate this incredible holiday and we're gonna do that this week. We're going to talk about independence all week this week. However, today is a little different. Today is episode 900 of hashtag rise and grind. That is significant in many, many, many ways. And so I think today it's important that we reflect just a little bit. But before we do, you know what we got to do. We got to get that body moving. We got to get that blood flowing. You know, we got to dance. Come on. We done done this 900 times. If you don't know what's going on, you're like new to the show. <laughs> this is the part of the show where we get the body moving. We get the blood flowing. And we do a little dancing. What's interesting is this song that you're listening to right here was actually written by a guy named Tony with the keys. Tony with the keys was watching episodes of Rising Rhine and he just felt he just felt compelled he chose he made a decision to make this song and now this song has motivated inspired and moved humans all around the planet thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands maybe millions of times all around the globe how cool is that all because he chose he chose 
to come in here and make this incredible song. So here's what we do every day on Hashtag Rise and Grind. We get the body moving. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. So we get the body moving. We also take this time to share out today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. If you're on Clubhouse, hit the plus button, invite some people into the room. We would greatly appreciate it. And it's also the part of the show where I say good morning to you and you say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're on replay or you're on YouTube or you're listening to the podcast, connect with me and I would love to connect with you. All right. Good morning, Justin Yao. Great to see you. What's up, Brad Smith and Janelle Griego? I see you, John Coltonborn. My man, Jeremy Noling is up in here this morning. What's up, Eileen Mitnick? Great to see you. We've got Tristan Smith is in here. Douglas Thurston. I see my man Billy Sherm is still on a roll. Dude, you want to talk about somebody that made a choice. He just chose. Just decide to become the best version of himself he can possibly be. And he's on it. What's up, Barrett Trout? How you doing, Riza Kesvarza? Great to see you this morning. How you doing, Angela Venters Heath? I see Mike Stevens is in the house. Leisha Watts, Sean Woodward, Beverly Richardson, Michelle Berker, Cheryl Alexander's up in here this morning. Kim Fair, Megan DiMartino, Amy Kennedy, Whitney Wells, Janice Mullings, Denise Carlos. Golly, it is packed this morning. Holy smokes. I can't even believe it. We got another 400 folks over on Clubhouse on top, like Lolita and McKinley that just joined the Rise and Grind tribe, or the Breakfast with Champions tribe. We got Johnny and Cammie. Victoria's in here. My man Tony Gonzalez is in the house. Rev Max is up in here, dude. I love Rev Max. He's amazing. What's up, Danny? Danny's up in here. Danny's my friend. And if any of you are over 50 years old, and you are single and you love Jesus and you are looking for an incredible woman I mean just an incredible woman to do life with you need to message me because my girl Danny is looking she's looking for the right one <laughs> I see Tina's up in here Monica's up in here Laura Nakasha Jessica Sharon I see Mel and Sandra and Jeff and Eric and Ian and Crystal. Crystal, great to see you, of course. I see Kevin is up in here this morning. Tarika and Samara. I see Margo and ECMD. I see the billionaire S. I see Cindy and Romana and Riza and Sabrina. Wow. Packed house. Packed house. All right, we got to dive in. Today's episode of Hashtag Rising Ryan. I'm having too much fun. All right, let's go. So a lot of people don't know this, but Hashtag Rise and Grind, the show that you're watching today, actually started off as a show called In the Beginning. I had this idea, if we could change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact in their life. And so I got my videographer, my friend Brandon, and we started making these shows called In the Beginning, an inspirational way to start your day. And I would go out on location in different places, all over Lexington, Kentucky, Darian Sanders, my good friend Darian, uh, was a big part of it. It was him and I, and we would go around and we'd make all these episodes. We talk about anything from millennials to parenting to uh, the process of change and struggle and growth and succeed. And uh, we would record them and do these full productions and we release them once a week. And if you um, go onto my YouTube page, you can actually find all those episodes all of those episodes are um are there on youtube and they're crazy man full productions and as a matter of fact i'm gonna share one of them with you right now to get an idea of what 
hashtag rise and grind and breakfast with champions like this was this is our roots man this is where we came from so this was one of our most popular episodes and i'm gonna share it with you real quick and i hope you enjoy it if you're on clubhouse and you want to see it visually go to official glenn lundy right now and you'll be able to catch it otherwise you can listen to it just like you have the rest of the show over on clubhouse check this out There is a power that exists only once and never again, the power of now. In my days growing up, I always thought tomorrow was better than today. I figured there would always be enough time. I would leave everything to the last minute. Homework assignments, studying for tests, showing up for practice. I would always push it to the limit. I did okay those days. I was a decent track star. I got above average grades. I was able to be above average in many ways but never once did I excel at anything. I couldn't understand it at the time, but as I fast forward to the world I live in now, running one of the largest car dealerships in the United States of America, I can look back and I can see the exact moment my life changed and I helped lead our dealership from above average to a complete powerhouse. That change happened when I began to understand the power of now. It sounds so simple, if you have something to do, do it now. If it has your attention, then complete the task to the very end. Don't let the thought linger, don't dawdle, get it done and get it done now. Your mind will be blown with the results, I assure you. You see, sometimes just thinking about the power of now is strong enough to change your life. When you begin to realize how many things you put off for later. Daddy, will you pick me up? Later. Honey, will you join me in bed? Later. Son, will you come to visit? Later. Mr. Lundy, can I see you for a second? Later. How is your retirement looking? Later. How much do you have invested? Later. The list goes on and on. We DVR shows for later and never watch them. We make plans to go places and never go there. We talk about writing books, promotions, making a difference, big dreams. We talk about it all and we talk about it all happening later. My father died at 52 years old. He laid down to take a nap on a Sunday afternoon and never woke up. He was incredibly healthy. He played basketball his whole life and refereed high school games on the weekends. As far as I was concerned, him and I still had 40 years to spend together. So all of the hopes and dreams he had for me, I could fill later. When he died, I was alone. I was a criminal, a loser a man who had made many bad choices. My father died disappointed in me. I thought we had so many more days ahead. My oldest daughter will be 18 in May. When she was six, I decided that doing things with her later was the best idea. Instead of making her a priority, I chose to do many other things with my life. Girlfriends and parties, promises of a brighter tomorrow. Ultimately, I ended up missing out on eight years of her life. Thank God she's back now. But at one time, I thought she would be gone forever. My youngest is now one. It's like she was born yesterday. The days fly by in such a hurried whirlwind, it blows the mind. Days pass in minutes, months, and hours, and what I've discovered is there is only one way to slow things down. The power of now. If it needs to be done, you have to do it now. If you want to chase a dream, start now. Tell your kids you're proud of them. Now, don't wait. You can't afford to wait. At work, do it now. With your wife, do it now. Call your mom right now. Tell her I said hello. Answer the client now. Get results now. Write your book now. Read that book now. Shake a hand, call a friend, take a note, answer a question, respond to that email, answer that text, invest in that property, start saving money, buy that house, change your life, write down your goals, take time to thank God, do it all, and do it all now. 
When you start to live your life with the power of now, the things that keep you awake at night will go away. They're done. You've completed the task. You called that one guy back. You took care of that squeaky wheel. Whatever it is, you took care of it and it's gone and you're free from it forevermore, all because you simply did it now. You see, my life began to change the moment I decided that if it had my attention, then I had to complete it. What ends up happening when you live that way is you start to be careful at what you allow to have your attention. Not only are you getting all the things done that need done now, but you're also keeping yourself from being distracted, which increases even more productivity. You'll find that you can get so much more out of your day if you just start doing things now. The best part about it, when you begin to use the power of now, people around you will notice. You become that guy or girl that gets it done. That guy or girl that is just so lucky all the time. You become this almost superhuman person who can complete more tasks in a day than most do in a week. You unlock a part of your mind that has been dormant and stagnant since you were a child and instead you feel alive and connected to a world that is so much bigger than you or me or any of us. You see, the power of now will help you get more in tune with the you that God made you to be. Energy in its purest form waits for no man. Its current exists now and it always will. So do me a favor, take your finger and share this video. Go ahead, do it now. Share it with your friends and family members and then commit to being the type of person that lives by the power of now. You will never look back. Take my word for it. I'm just saying that word is powerful. Uh, take what Glenn told you and run with it, fully run with it. Take action now. Be present now. Grab today and this week by the horns and run with it. Run now. So I leave you with the words spoken by John to the church in 1 John 3, 18 and 19. Dear children, let's not merely say we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to the truth. So with that power, go now. <laughs> and that's what it used to look like in the beginning an inspirational way to start your day that was that was that episode was probably shot seven years at about 40 pounds ago man i was much thinner but i also wouldn't open my mouth because my teeth were jacked if you watch that video uh you'll you'll notice that i'm not showing my teeth at all that they were jacked but one thing you'll also notice if you really analyze that video is i was reading from a teleprompter and Darian was reading from a page as well. Like in the very beginning, we didn't have the confidence. We didn't know we could just shoot. We didn't know we could go. We didn't know that we could speak. And Darian ultimately ended up moving to Louisville. And so it became really difficult. Um, it became really difficult to, to get together, to shoot the productions. We would have to leave the dealership. We'd have to go. We'd have to get Brandon. We'd find all these locations. We'd do all of these things to be able to shoot uh, a production, you know, like, like what you just saw. And if you want to catch all of them, there's, uh, I think there's 22 of episodes of in the beginning. Those are all over on YouTube. Um, you know, but ultimately the mission was the same. It's never changed. I believe if we can change the way you start your day, it'll make a massive impact in your life. I truly believe that. And so the mission has been the same and we evolved from in the beginning where it was this big to do, this big production to where we realized that we can choose to do this any way that we want. And I actually started doing something called early morning dorkiness <laughs> where I would just go out to like the golf course or just random places and I would just say silly stuff right that was like two minutes long and so that was some goofball stuff that i did with my friend isaiah mills but the mission stayed the same if we could change the way you start your day to make a massive impact in your life and then one day i just decided to go live from a utility closet 
utility closet in my house and we decided we would call it hashtag rise and grind and we'd go live at 5 30 in the morning every day and i'd just do it by myself and it would just be a camera and it would just be a microphone and if you go back and watch the first episode of that you'll see that the lights are bright and i'm like ah what is going on here? These lights are so bright. I really don't have any idea, you know, what I'm doing. I just know that the mission has stayed the same and the mission is to help you change the way you start your day because if you change the way you start your day, it'll make a massive impact in your life and that began to evolve to where we started to do uh instead of just me on the show, I started doing interviews on on Fridays and then ultimately that evolved to where I, instead of doing it at my house, we're we're doing it here at the at, at, at the studio where we have multiple mics and we're streaming into clubhouse with breakfast with champions and we're doing um, all of those things and of course there's clothing lines that have spawned from there and the planners have spawned from there and the group has spawned from there and the relationships and the live events and the coffee and the, all the things have all spawned from there but the mission has never changed it's been the same from the very beginning if you change the way you start your day to make a massive impact in your life and so i share this with you as we reflect back over 900 episodes of hashtag rise of grind which is a ridiculous feat dude 900 is a ton there are very few very few people that do 900 of anything 900 podcast episodes 900 television shows 900 of anything man 900 is a ton but i want to share this with you because the mission has never changed i refuse to quit i refuse to quit whether it's in the automotive world, whether it's in self-development world, whether it's for a young lady or a young man, whether for it's a, for an old lady or for an old man, no matter who it's for, I refuse to quit. And it says it right here in the planner. Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. If I never quit, I can't lose. And neither can you. And you live in a world where you have a choice. You get to choose. So this morning, my motivation for you on a Monday morning, my Monday morning motivation is what choice are you going to make? Are you going to choose to become the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be so that you can have the confidence to take risks, to take chances? To create things that you have no idea that, hey, I might fail, but I won't quit. That's the choice I hope you make. Because see, there's something I believe. I believe that you and I are children of God, the God of the universe, God made everything. And as that, I love you as my brother and as my sister. And as that, I believe that as we rise as a collective when you step into your greatness, my life gets better. Let me say that one more time for the people in the back. When you step into your greatness, my life gets better. Because I believe we're all connected. And I believe that our Father in Heaven ultimately wants us to live a life of abundance, a life of joy, a life of gratitude, and a full 110% life throttle all the way open the best versions of ourselves not average not a little bit above average not a little bit below but the best and i'm not gonna quit till i get there and i challenge you to do the same Listen, I ran over on time this morning, but I got all jacked up. If you want to check out more episodes of Hashtag Rise and Grind, you can go to glennlundy.com. If you go to YouTube and just start scrolling, put in Hashtag Rise and Grind Glenn Lundy on YouTube. I dare you and start scrolling and take a look at how long it takes you to scroll through. And I think we only have 700 episodes up there. I think there's a couple hundred episodes that didn't get captured, right? But I dare you to go over there and do that. And here's something that I would love for you to do. Lean in real quick. Hey, Travis Flaherty, great to see you, sir. Something that I would love for you to do. If, if, if I can ask for a favor, okay? Am I okay to do that? Do I have your attention? I know we're doing a million things. I know I've ran over. But if I could ask for one favor, will you make a post today on social media? Will you? Yeah, you can scroll on YouTube, Sarah. 
You can scroll through page after 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 page of episodes. You'll be scrolling forever. Okay, I need one favor from everybody, please. As today is the 900th episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind, will you please make a post? It would mean the world to me. And I don't care if you post on Instagram, on Facebook. I don't care where you post. Just tag me in it, please. But will you make a post and just share... How either hashtag rise and grind or breakfast with champions or following my family on Instagram, whatever it is, will you just share in a post how changing the way you start your day and starting your day with the rise and grind group, with the breakfast with champions group, with the Lundies, however you want to word it. But if you would make a post about how changing the way you start your day has made an impact in your life, that would mean the world to me. Tag me so I can see it and we can continue to spread this message out because people need it, man. People need to know that it really is a choice. It's just choosing, choosing to change the way you start your day. So I want to leverage my showing up 900 times, my building in the beginning, my building dorkiness, good morning dorkiness, my commitment to helping change the way people start their day. It's created this tribe. And now we have all these humans, right? 10,000 people will watch this video today. Uh, 10,000, 15,000 people will go through Breakfast with Champions today. If each of you would just take, I don't care if you post a picture. I don't care if you post a video. I don't care how you do it. Make it easy. Just please make a post and just say, hey, Changing the way I started my day has impacted my life in this way. Blank, 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 blank. Thanks, Rising Grind community. Thanks, Breakfast with Champions. Thanks, Lundy family. I don't care how you word it. Just please, I would really appreciate it. It'd be like you giving me a gift on my 900th episode of Hashtag Rising Grind. With that said, I hope I'm not asking too much. Um, with that said, if you need more videos like this, go to glennlundy.com. There's a ton of them up there. And uh, even more importantly, will you come back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m.? Because we're going to do this all over again on hashtag Rise and Grind. See you. Have a great day.